they've got something really special here. You know, Steamboat has a, such a great venue and a great place to have that race. You know, the field was good this year. Nick Clark, Ryan Gelfi, uh, Josh Arthur had a great race, Jeff Browning. Rob's, you know, Rob's on fire. I think, I don't think it was really any surprise to put him as the favorite as they started the race, you know. The women's race is kind of the same thing. You've got, you had Nikki Kimball, you had Darcy Pizzo, you had Kerry Bucksport, you had Stephanie Howe. Nikki Kimball wins the race. Just goes to show you that it's not always about speed, it's about perseverance and, and running a smart and running your own race. And Nikki really showed that she's still, she's still got it. You know, I, I love Run Rabbit Run. You know, it's a, it, there's a lot of self-sufficiency needed in that race, and I and I enjoy that more and more as I get older, slower, and smarter. So it's a race that I can do well at. I came into it tapered, and I don't taper for races that often because I just like to run and I hate to taper. And so I went in with the energy of a border collie, you know, knew it was going to be hard to hold back in the beginning, and the women's field just took off a lot faster than I thought they would. The goal of the race, you know, for me, in, in addition to just loving ultra running, you know, I, I really did want to win this one. I think the altitude is why people think it's a little bit harder. A lot of it's really smooth single track, so that plays into Rob's game. The guy's got incredible speed. He's got the way he's been going the last two years. It's, you know, he's been really the man to beat at 100 miles. I stood on the starting line of Run Rabbit Run, feeling really good, feeling really motivated, excited to race. Starting at noon and running through the night was a new experience. Um, you know, staying on course and not tripping and uh, and hurting yourself. So you know, I took the first 50 miles to kind of feel out my body. The next section is about a 20 mile um, uh, smooth dirt road section that I really took advantage of, and that was a calculated risk making a move so early. But I really felt I had to take advantage of that section. I'm just really thankful to Fred and Paul and Brady for putting on just a fantastic event. I mean, Fred, he's putting a purse out there without losing the spirit of the trail. You know, they don't make a sense on that race. It's a it's a charity race with, you know, a, a large proportion of the entry fees going towards the, the, the prize purse. Um, but any additional funds they have go towards local charities. And I think that's uh, really honorable. And uh, I was really excited to be uh, a part of that race for that reason. Mm -hmm.